Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Nort, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I have something super exciting to show off to you guys. It is my theory on this Mount Chiliad mural mystery. Some more information has been found about this mural, and it appears that it's meant to be angled in this general direction. I'll tell you exactly why, because I'm now going to be pinpointing everything on this mural and trying to discover what it means, what it could be. So to start this off, we're going to take a look right at the top at what looks like an eye or something like that. And this points in the exact direction of the Von Krastenberg's Hotel. It's something which we came across in the stream yesterday, and I don't really think it's too much, but after googling the von Krastenbergs, they have been dated back all the way to Liberty City, and they are known to be the wealthiest family in the Grand Theft Auto series. Their assets are known to exceed over a trillion US dollars, and interestingly enough, the von Krastenbergs are actually part of a small secret society, although if you do decide to google this in, you won't find too much information about it, but there is a few words to discussing how the von Krastenbergs are rumoured to be in a sort of secret society along with their elitist and upper class friends as well. Now these guys, like I said, they date back to Liberty City. They have had history in the Grand Theft Auto series and also just taking a bird's eye view, their pool is in the shape of a diamond and the logo kind of resembles something like an arrow pointing out in the general direction this eye will point out to. Nonetheless, it's a great fit if we are to try and fit the von Krastenbergs as the people who created this mural as the people who own the secret society behind it or something like that. Something very interesting nonetheless, and it's something which I didn't want to miss out. So let's get into the next pointer on the Mount Chiliad mural, and we're going to take a look at the X which we found initially to start off this mystery. And this X can be found in a wind turbine farm, and the wind turbine farm actually has the most dominant and bold X in the ground. And this is what we're looking at. Now what you can see on the top left hand side of my screen is the X from the Mount Chiliad mural, or what looks like the X. It has the exact box around it, it has an X in the middle of it, and if you come here at sunset, you will see the X in its most bold form. And this is still pretty insane. I really didn't expect Rockstar Games to maybe imprint the mural into the ground, but if this is the case, then this has to be one of the X's from the Mount Chiliad mural. But get this, if you don't believe that this is an X imprinted in the ground from the mural, let's take a look in the military base, because within the vicinity of the box, there is the elevator, and the elevator is meant to take you underground into a secret room. The room has not yet been seen by any sort of eye, and Rockstar haven't even given us a texture for this room, it is simply just an elevator which takes us down to a mysterious room. We believe that Rockstar Games added this in because this was also in San Andreas as well, in which you could go down and collect the jetpack. However, Rockstar Games decided they must add this elevator, but unfortunately they didn't give us any access to it, which consequently means that we're unable to get the jetpack, but it's still a great easter egg from San Andreas. And also something else to mention is that a UFO does spawn above here as well, but it'd be pretty interesting to know that the X on the Mount Chiliad mural could actually mean this elevator and the room underneath it. I'll get into my theory on that a bit later on. This is because we're going to take a look at the jetpack and if you guys don't know where this is, you can actually see the shadow engraved into the rock, which is right here in the Altrus camp, exactly where the jetpack lays in this diagram. And also looking at the UFO, this is exactly where the UFO will spawn in Sandy Shores within the box of it as well. Everything appears to line up, and a cool little theory I'm going to go into is this the crosshead on the tunnels. And this is exactly where one of the tunnels' door leads to in the mineshaft. And if this is the case, then this looks like all of the black lines have to be tunnels around this mural, and each tunnel will connect you up to a variety of different things. For example, the elevator going down underground in the military base, one tunnel will connect to this, and it looks like the door sealing off one of the tunnels is exactly on the crosshair where four other tunnels connect to, which is pretty damn interesting. Nonetheless, this is the tunnel to go down where you can line yourself up exactly in the four tunnel crosses, and it's just pretty interesting to know that by situating the mural on the GTA map like this, the crosshairs, or at least where all the tunnels kind of connect in one point, will remain and stand its way over the mineshaft tunnels, which is pretty damn insane. So maybe being in the mineshaft is being in part of this mural 
theoretically. Now we're going to take a look at these two X's because one of them lands itself pretty much exactly on the observatory. Although I can't find any connection with this, it's still a pretty significant monument in GTA Online. I did also do a really cool theory about the observatory and Nikola Tesla. It has a load of significance in GTA 5. It's something which needs a lot of attention, a lot of secrets, and it also rings a bell every time you call the black cell phones cheat next to the door as well. So there's something inside this, something secret but once again these secrets are yet untold. And now we're going to take a look at the cracked egg. This is now just speculating a little bit. I was doing a stream yesterday discussing what the cracked egg could be, why is it in the Alamo Sea, and the only thing I can guess is that it has to be this plane split in half. If you guys have played campaign, you would understand there is a mission where you are controlling this plane and it's shot down and it lands its way in the Alamo Sea. And of course, inside this plane, if you come here in story mode, you can find the railgun, which is a pretty insane and awesome weapon. If we were to follow this theory, then the cracked plane, or at least the plane split in half, could potentially be the cracked egg. I do understand that this is probably the most radical and speculated thought in this theory, but as I was live streaming this yesterday, a lot of users were actually asking me to put this in this video and discuss that this could potentially be the cracked egg. So if it is, then this is meant to be where the cracked egg is, so it must be something to do with this plane. And the reason why I'm including it is because on top of Mount Chiliad, there is a small sentence saying, come back here when your story is complete. If this is the case, and if this does have another meaning, then this could potentially also mean not only to come on top of Mount Chiliad to see the UFO, but also to search for the clues and the answers to the Mount Chiliad mural when the story is complete. For example, that plane you can't see unless you do a certain mission in campaign. Although anyone may be able to try and work out this Mount Chiliad mural mystery, I honestly believe that the clues inside it will be totaled up by all of the missions you have done. There will be extra things added, like a plane going into the Alamo Sea, something else to help you out on where these things are located in this mystery. It's a pretty interesting theory and I am kind of getting dug into it, I'm getting my fingers into it, and I really want to try and find answers, but unfortunately I haven't really got a conclusive answer about what this all means. I honestly believe that this could potentially be a theory, or a really good theory nonetheless, to try and find the answer to the Mount Chiliad mural. It is one of the oldest mysteries in Grand Theft Auto 5, and one of the most iconic ones, like everyone who's heard of the Grand Theft Auto series has pretty much heard of the Mount Chiliad mural, and I really want to try and find the answer to it. There's tons of theories revolving around this mural, and I think this theory we're talking about is one of the closest ones. Anyway, let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below, they are very much much appreciated. I do love your help and everyone who has tweeted me, everyone who has given me a comment about this mystery has helped in some form, shape or way. So thank you so much guys for the amazing support. I'll come out with another episode on this on all of the findings we have found and I'll try and piece that all together. But like I said, any thoughts, let me know down in the comment section below. Also guys, if you did enjoy this video, then please don't leave without clicking that like button as it is very much appreciated. And also if you are new here, I do recommend you click that subscribe button as well as you will never miss out on any more Grand Theft Auto 5 content every single day. Also if you want to stay tuned with this mystery and try and find out the answer or be updated whenever I have the answer make sure you subscribe for that. Anyway guys I hope you did enjoy and I'll see you guys next time. Oh you're you're still here. Well it's your lucky day because I am giving away three of these Rockat Ryos MKFX keyboards. Just look how bright all of them lights are. It's pretty awesome, and this is probably my favorite feature about the keyboard. I can literally play around with the lights all day, and that's pretty insane. I mean, come on guys, it's pretty awesome. Anyway, I'm giving away three of these keyboards kindly provided to me by Rockat, but how do you enter into this giveaway? Well guys, it's very, very simple. All you have to do is click the link down in the description below. It will take you over to my Twitter page and there will be a tweet asking you how many programmable keys there are on the Rockat Rios MKFX. This keyboard, the one you're looking at right here. If you answer correctly, then three people with the correct answer will be 
chosen by Rockat at random to win the Rockat MK. FX keyboard. It's a pretty awesome keyboard and I've also included a small teaser hint where you can get the answer from in the tweet so make sure you do go and check out that tweet. Also make sure you are following Rockat and myself and apart from that I hope you enjoyed. Good luck.